right. Yeah, he's uh, he's many places at one time dealing with justice across the country and saving the day. So he's definitely a superhero. Yeah. Were you ever apprehensive apprehensive about doing this because like you you've done the biopic thing. So when they slid you the script, what were your initial thoughts? Every biopic that comes to my attorneys, my attorneys and my agents uh, and managers, it's it's like they immediately are like, uh, we'll read it, but you know. So it, it, it first of all, it's got to get to me, and and then second, if it gets to me, like half the time I'm like, nope, 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 nope. So just the fact that they actually. You know, it took me knowing Reggie. It took me um, wanting to work with Reggie. It took the fact that it was Paula Wagner, um, you know, longtime successful producer um, who was friends with my agent, um, saying, Chad, you need to read it, you know. And so it was the fact that it was a biopic was a definite no. And, and then also I didn't look like him, you know, so it took – you know, some some the script being really, really, really good, and the fact that it was Reggie and uh, Thurgood Marshall's son John Marshall writing a letter saying we want you to play this. So it took all of that for me to go, okay, I, I, I'll do it. <laughs> that's, that's a lot, but I mean, yeah. thankfully you did it. How much did you know about Thurgood Marshall before you said, okay, I'll do it? I knew a lot about him, but I think once I started to read more, you know, it's because facts are. You know, facts are facts, but it's like the context of 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 it all and who he was. Like once I realized how, um, and the script really did a really good job of presenting some of that and giving you a sense of that. But once I realized that, okay, there's a lot to do with this character. Um, you know, there's a lot to do with the time period that we're in, um, and a lot to do with how does he get people to do certain things because if I just read it verbatim I'm like these things don't even make sense it, it has to be who he is as a person that makes a lot of things happen and so once I realized that I realized it was it was a, a great work to take on how much interaction did you have with the actual living family members where you could like very little like, very little very little very little because they once I got got there go ahead um, and I and I realized well they weren't really they didn't know this man you know, they weren't alive when this man was, was doing this work. Um, and I could pull so much from, I think, the context. And I and I knew I didn't look like him. And since uh, it would just remind me more and more that I don't look like him, you know, if I talk to the family. Um, and I had to pull, you know, the essence of him out of this history and pour it inside me. It, that was the more important I think work to do in this case.